What's up, my Big Mac snack wraps? It's your boy, the Miggity, 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 Miggity Mac. And this is Mrs. Mac. No, no, no. And welcome to another video. She has double mashed potatoes. Y'all know got I like Asian my mashed fries, potatoes. You know, biscuits. We got honey, hot sauces, drinks. Y'all, we gotta say a prayer and we gonna get it in. All right, thank you for the food we're about to receive for the nourishment of our bodies. In Christ's name, we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, let's dig in. Y'all, we've been waiting days for this. Days. Cause y'all know I like me some Popeye. Y'all look at this. Wait, wait, but, but but look at the back though. Oh, it's juicy. Oh my gosh. Oh. It's dripping. Yo, look at this. Oh, I got my coleslaw. They gave me a big thing today. Um, I don't like coleslaw. I don't know, maybe it's, I don't know. Something about it just. <laughs> maybe I haven't tried their Popeyes. Maybe it's different, I don't know. But I didn't like Stater Brothers. Or like homemade coleslaw. I gotta get the mashed potatoes. You wanna like KFC? Coleslaw? I've never tried KFC coleslaw. Mm -hmm. I don't think. I'm one of those people like once I find something at a restaurant, I kind of just stick to it. And, like now, I feel like I'm venturing out with like doing videos because like I wouldn't even mix my food before, and now like I'm trying to like be normal and like mix it. <laughs> so. I like the leg. I'm gonna try some of their hot sauce and some of their honey. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so good. Are you trying to pass us some honey? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try the fries. I'm gonna try the fries. Mm. Kind of tastes like brownies a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's been a minute since we both did a video. I was about to say that. Come on, baby, chew my food. It's about to say that. It's been a minute, y'all. But I know y'all enjoy the white to take over. Y'all enjoy my solo stuff. Maybe now again. Y'all come together. Mm -hmm. And we got, not a story, but I wish y'all know what <sighs> our week's been like. Oh, my goodness. Y'all be ready. Y'all be ready. <laughs> How are you guys doing though? Hopefully y'all had a better week than he and I. <sighs> Cause this been a stressful week. But if for no reason on our own. I'm definitely you stressing on your own accord. Story we about to tell y'all. Yeah, y'all don't even. Honestly, it sounds like a made up story and it sounds like something out of a movie, but we have pictures to a receipt. We have a receipt. Okay. Do I start the story or you start the story? You can start it because I'm asleep. Okay, y'all. 
Where do I even start? Okay, so it was like two, three o'clock in the morning. He was sleeping. No, it was like two, yeah, two o'clock in the morning. And I heard like this. I've never in my life heard a noise like that. It was like this bingo boom. I thought it was either a, a bomb, somebody shooting. I don't know. I just I just heard a noise, right? I was like, Jermaine, Jermaine, wake up, wake up. I'm scared. I'm scared. He's like, what? What? He's like, I didn't hear anything. I didn't hear anything. And I'm like, okay. I'm like, maybe I was like dozing off because I was tired. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, maybe I was like dozed off and thought I heard something. I started like kind of questioning myself. Because I was, I was knocked out, so I didn't hear nothing. Not a dang thing he heard. And it was loud, okay? And so then he goes back to sleep for like a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then he goes to the restroom. And then you say go with that one. So I'm using the restroom. And I hear a police sirens and ambulance. So I'm like, oh wow, maybe what she did here was real. So I come out the bathroom and I go in the kitchen and I see the flashing lights outside. So I look out the kitchen window and there's a car flipped on its side on fire right in front of our house. Like I've never seen anything like that. Mm -hmm. So I go to her, I'm like, hey, you don't hear all them sirens and see the flashing lights in the window? She's like, no. I'm like, there's a car on fire outside. Um, and then she got up. I got up, and then I was like, I'm nosy. Like, is the person okay? Like, it, it partly is me being nosy, and I want to make sure the person was okay, right? So I was like, I'm going to put some clothes on. I'm going to go downstairs and make sure they're okay. So I go downstairs. I didn't even see, like, I just seen flames. I didn't know there was another car there, okay? So I, I go downstairs and like, I look and I'm like, that car kind of looks familiar, but then I'm like, no. And the, the police officer comes up to me and he goes, is this your car? And I look at him and I'm like, is it my car? He's like, is it your car? And I'm like, is it my car? And I go, I go like a little bit closer. And the only way I could really recognize my car was, um, what's that called, the rear view mirror? Yeah. yeah. So I have something like these um, Hawaiian beads that my friend had got me when she went to Hawaii. Um, dangling. And that's the only way I could tell that that was my car. And I was like, yeah, that's my car. I was like, I was parked, we were, I was parked basically like across the street, like at least eight or 10 houses down from where we live. So the person dragged my car from where it was parked to our house. I guess she wanted to come pick me up and I wasn't ready or something. I don't know. But Well, basically there was a car that was flipped that was mm. sitting on top of her car. Um, oh yeah. So basically... We were thinking the car was speeding, hit her car, drove her car, and then somehow ended up on top. Come to find out, she's 19, drunk driving. She hits my car, and she even hits another car, but that car is like just a little fender bender. Mine, totally damaged. 100% totally damaged. And so, like, I start freaking out because I'm like, what happened? She ended up being cited and released just because the jails are super full out here but like she went home she went to go to sleep and we were still dealing with everything until like almost five o'clock in the morning because we had to get a tow truck to like get our car it was just a mess a hot mess and she's lucky she got out alive because her car was flipped it was flipped it was burning they couldn't even get her out of the car they ended up with uh putting the fire out and then pulling her from the um windshield windshield i'm like that is such a blessing and like, she walked away and she walked away and i'm like i was just crying because it's like you know that's my car you know what i'm saying i've had it for so many years like oh my goodness i was that's why i've been so stressed like i feel like now when i hear things and the like is it oh my yeah. and i'm like okay well it's not my car so like every night we hear like car noises or somebody speeding 
It like freaks us out. Yeah, I feel like I have PTSD or something. I feel like when I hear something at night, I, I start like freaking out because I'm like, but then I have to remember I don't have a car right now, you know? <laughs> Mind you, this is a relatively quiet neighborhood. But just to go outside and there's a car flipping on top of your car, totaled your car out, and you're in bed, just minding your business. Mind you, I just went downstairs again to make sure she, the person was okay and to be nosy. And good thing I was being nosy because I wouldn't have known it was my car. I would have woke up the next day, y'all, and thinking somebody stole my car and not know that that was my car. But, like your man said, God has bigger plans for us. So I might be getting a new car this weekend. No, I'm going to get a new car. Ain't, ain't no ifs, ands, or buts. But I'm definitely going to get a 2023. I kind of know what I want. Hopefully, it's stocked. But I'm going to get me a new car. I did save somebody, like, you know, before we got married. And maybe that's what God told me to save for. I don't know. But God has bigger plans for us. So that's what's been on in, in our lives. And we've included that. Photos. Oh yeah, we'll definitely show photos. It's just a blessing that nobody got hurt, even her. Like, yeah. maybe this is what she needed to happen, so she doesn't hurt anybody. I just pray to God that she this, knows. yeah, she learns and she listens. You know what I'm saying? Because I had a friend, stuff happened to her, and she still does it to this day. You know? So hopefully, I pray to God that this was a lesson learned, because she really could have hurt herself, or that car could have blew up. Like, I was scared to take stuff out of my car because that car was just on fire so i told the the policeman i'm like i'm not i'm not taking anything out unless you help me <laughs> and so he ended up helping me but like basically the whole driver's side was in the passenger side the front end was okay but there's everything else my bumper oh my goodness oh, yeah. the, back end, the, floor. the driver's side like honestly if I was sitting in my car like I used to do in Artesia. I would have got. I would have. I would have been dead. There's no way that I would have survived that because her car was on top of mine. No way. And to push a car that was in park on the far far down, you had to be speeding to do something. You had heavy to. Impact. You just had to. And like when she blew the thing, she was 24. That's why I don't understand. But come to find out, I started researching, and it's like if she would have hurt somebody. They would have took her. But since nobody was physically hurt, maybe emotionally. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure she was on her seatbelt because the way that car was, if she wasn't on her seatbelt, she would have been done for. I don't know, man. But then God, he gave her the right mind to at least put on her seatbelt. Yeah. Because I'm sure she would have been ejected. Yeah, yeah. We've been dealing with insurance people. <laughs> insurance people, B and B, and then we got finally we got it from the um, insurance that's total loss, of course, because I could have told them that. <laughs> Man, but and it's so crazy because I always park inside, always. But that day, Jermaine was really tired. And he was waiting for my call, but I was like, no, I don't want to bother him. I just came from the doctor. I didn't want to bother him. I said, we gonna, you know, we're going to clean. We've been cleaning. We're tired. I'll just park it the next day. Yeah, because usually we have a driveway, and we park. She in front, and I'm behind her. Mm -hmm. And that's how we usually do it. And I was going to do it the next day. Well, it didn't happen. That's in our week, y'all. Remember, y'all, we don't drink our calories. Mm. Yeah, that's our week. I ain't drinking mine either. This is. I'm trying to get my water intake. He drinks a lot of water. He is so good at drinking water, but it's hard for me. I love water. Like this is hitting. Just so 
on that y'all would have been like oh. Jermaine had never seen nothing like that we went out for uh, 4th of July to the, excuse me, to the beach when I tell you I got burnt she got bite my inner thighs my arm it was so bad that my skin was coming off I remember two two incidents one I was at his sister's house up against the couch and when I say I wet, like I went up, my skin got stuck on the, on the, sofa. On the sofa, and then on his hand too. So it's like, I'm so worried about the sun out here. Mm -mm. Like I told y'all, it gets hot. Yeah, because the last summer, before I, we got married and I moved out here, like, it was 113. I said, ooh, my poor little skin. I had a Popeye's hitting today. Mm -hmm. It always hits, though, I think. But these mashed potatoes, oh my goodness. If I knew how to make these mashed potatoes at home, <laughs> I think I'd have at least once a week just like that. I'm sure somebody has a copycat recipe. If y'all do, let us know in the comments. <laughs> Please and thank you. Ahead of time. Dirty rice too. Oh, I think so. And green beans. Oh wow. Well. I'm just skiing, y'all. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Oh, it's hard too. So it's gonna scoop. So we probably gonna end it right here then. I'm oh, full. Cool. You full? Cool? Um, yeah. It's hot up here. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I know, I'm over here sweating. <clears throat> we, we even got the fan on, but we got to turn it this way. We might as well turn it this way, it's gonna be on. I know. Y'all, sorry if y'all see me sweating, but my body don't do good with this heat. And it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. And last time I checked, it was 99. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna end it here then y'all. Um hope y'all have a good week, rest of the week. Um I love y'all, thank y'all, appreciate y'all. Shout out to all my day moms, all my new snack wraps, everybody in between. Thank you for supporting myself and Mrs. Matt. No, make sure y'all show some love in the comments and y'all. Until next time. Until we meet again, guys. Peace. Bye.